and we're gonna educate you on some cannabis shit today. <laughs> Let's do that again. Harvard Law. Just kidding. Yo, cannabis lovers, welcome to Bud's Bean Media. My name is Matt Meredith, and I run Cottonmouth Media, where I'm documenting my life in the cannabis industry and occasionally getting stoned. Just occasionally. Let's get to the education, shall we? So what is this video all about? This video is all about cannabis concentrates and how to categorize them. And so we're gonna break them down into two main categories of solventless and solvent-based extracts. We're gonna learn about the differences between the two. We're gonna compare and contrast some of the pros and cons about solvent-based and solventless extracts. Let's talk about the solvent-based extracts first. The solvent-based extracts can include solvent-based extracts and solvent-free extracts. Solvent extracts use solvents like CO2, butane, ethanol, and propane to dissolve and separate the active ingredients from the plant. Then the active ingredients are separated from the solvent, leaving behind a THC concentrate. These concentrates can contain trace amounts of the solvent that they used to create them. If you buy from a dispensary, they are legally required to test below certain levels of those trace solvents. So that's solvent extracts, right? And now the solvent-free extracts. So solvent-free extracts start the same way as solvent extracts, but go through a much more rigorous distillation process to remove any trace solvents remaining. You might see people refer to oil concentrates by their consistency. For example, shatter, butter, live resin, wax, or distillate. The same extraction method can produce different consistencies, so it's really just up to the preference of the person creating it. So let's go over some pros and cons of the solvent-based extract. So some of the pros, it's cheaper and it's more accessible. Those are wins. The cons to solvent-based extracts. So there's health concerns with inhaling trace amounts of solvents. That's just basic. And then it's, it's dangerous to make this yourself. So definitely don't try it at home. And I also don't think it's legal for the most part, <laughs> most of the methods. So yeah, it's dangerous. The other category is solventless extracts. So solventless extracts use mechanical extraction rather than solvents to create the concentrate. There are many ways to achieve this, but the main thing that they have in common is that there's nothing but cannabis materials in the end product because it's never come in contact with a solvent. So out of all of the solventless products, the most popular are probably Keef, Bubble Hash, and Rosin. That, those are the most accessible at dispensaries if you live in a legal state. And Bubble Hash is actually one of the best products to use when pressing high quality rosin. So rosin stands out also for its ability to mimic virtually any concentrate on the market, even the solvent-based ones. From rosin sauce to rosin batter to live rosin to non-solvent THCA and rosin crystals or diamonds. Rosin can replicate and provide more options for consumers. So let's go over some of the pros and cons of the solventless extracts. The pros of the solventless extracts. So you have the ability to make it at home. In fact, home rosin presses are actually gaining tons of popularity, allowing consumers to create their own rosin at home rather than using a flat iron. No risk of inhaling solvents. And it's arguably a better flavor because you don't have any solvents tainting the terpenes or flavonoids in your cannabis. The cons of the solventless extracts. So one, it is harder to find. Not every dispensary is gonna carry every single type of rosin or necessarily even have rosin, depending on what dispensary you're going to or what state you live in. And then it is also considerably more expensive, but you're paying for the quality, really. So, I mean, think about it. So in conclusion, you choose based off of your preferences, based off of your budget, and based off of the availability, depending where you are. I hope you poor lost souls learned something about solvent-based extracts and solventless extracts. Seriously, I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in the next Buds Be Cotton Mouth collaboration. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Buds Be Media because they're making a ton of more educational content that's gonna be important for you to learn. They're gonna keep it coming. And so am I, so you should subscribe to my channel too. Thanks for watching. Consume responsibly. And that good, good. Cotton Mouth Media, yo. 
we out.